Well, we're still tallying up the numbers from the weekend, but we're about 100 fire and EMS responses over the course of Memorial Day weekend. So that's a, a significant number, and there's a lot of things that could have been prevented. Several of our brush fires were believed to have been ignited by fireworks, and um, they, they we're in the season now. Temperatures are high. We're still experiencing the winds, and the conditions are extremely dry. So we don't want to have those types of catastrophes. We already lost one or two structures this season from brush fires and the use of fireworks. We want that to stop now. We're also going to be placed in the burn moratorium this coming Friday to help eliminate any potential fires like that. But in the situation that you're describing is a lot of these things are preventable. Be extremely careful. Don't light off the fireworks. You know, go and observe the organized shows that will be forthcoming in around July. Also, uh, two structure fires just recently started by children. Yes, we've had two uh, significant structure fires within the past month and both were at the hands of juveniles. Is that fireworks related or playing with matches? Uh, one was playing with an open flame source and the other one was playing with some fireworks. And so keep them away from the kids, keep them out of reach, and uh, you know, we know that we're not supposed to be lighting fireworks here in town. Absolutely, and, and it's for a good reason. You know, we're experiencing these type of issues and these fires and, and we're not even addressing yet the potential of the, the injuries from use and we haven't had them yet and um, we don't want that to happen.